You want to practice a few starts? Yeah. What gear are you going to start in? Second. Second? Okay. So just try to click up twice. Third, fourth, and then down into the corner, okay? Hey, Mason. Man, that thing's getting clapped out. You guys probably wouldn't be able to tell this, but it's actually a nice day in Riverdale today. This is probably the driest it's been here in a few months. And I'm kind of excited about it. Mason, you stomped your brake off, man. That's not something we could fix right now. I'm just gonna have to zip tie it in place. We'll have to fix that later. Hopefully his uh, front brake will still work for the race. 715, 85. like about a mid-pack start to me. Mason is riding without a rear brake, so let's see where he comes out on this one. Second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. Big pile up over there, collected about four riders, including Mason.
the 50 beginner class is running BP gas. I can smell it. That turn gives me some trouble. Looks like you nailed it that time. Oh. Thanks for the help. <laughs> uh, not our day. Mason is. I guess he probably went over to the practice track. Yep, there he is, guys. I mean, you know this kid likes riding. He just got done with a race and he goes straight over to the practice track to burn some more laps. That wasn't the race we were looking for. The track's rutted, guys, but hey, that's all right. Sorry, what's your name again? Josh. Josh, this is Luke. Hi. He just got the KX. He's learning how to shift, so I figured you'd be a good person to get pointers, right? You have any tips for him? Not really, you just make sure you're getting in the power band before you shift. Are you good on starts or are you still working on starts? I'm still working on starts. Stop and down, okay? So, I only let you push out halfway and you know where you start going. So what do you want me to do? Do you want me to like announce this or? Wait, or do you want to announce it? <laughs> Hold it and then aim it at yourself. <laughs> you do it. You're about to, I can't do it. It also helps to use like hand motions with your hands just to grab people's You're attention. Italian, you right. be used to and that. then whenever and whenever when you say something important for emphasis, you bring it in a little bit closer like this, okay? You wanna do it? Okay you guys, this is our friend Gina. She's got a surprise for us. We have no idea what it's gonna be. We're nervous. We're excited and nervous all at the same time. So the anticipation's killing me. I'll go grab it. Don't open it yet. You gotta wait. Yours. Mine. Uh -oh. Okay, ready? Go. Oh! Oh! <laughs> she got us first. <laughs> yes. Thank you. You're welcome. Thanks for the merch. Yeah. Thank you. That's so cool. Where'd you get these? Yeah. Justin made them. Justin did? I made, I had to make them. No way. Yeah. Yeah. Do you mind making us like a hundred more so we can give them yeah. away? Okay, uh. everybody do me a favor and go to Instagram and send Gina a message <laughs> and tell her thank you for our perks. This is awesome. Thank you so much. You're welcome. We interrupt this program for a special news bulletin. All right guys, so I uh, figured this would be a good time to interrupt this video. If you wanna skip ahead to the rest of the vlog, that's fine, but real quick guys, thank you so much to Gina for making this merch for us. This was totally unexpected, but since she did it, I'm happy with the quality. Justin from JJW Designs did a really good job. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a pre-order through the end of February if anybody wants one. We've got some requests. People have been interested in the merch, but I don't know how serious they are and I don't know how big of a demand it, there is. So we're gonna do a pre-order if anybody wants a t-shirt for $20 or a hoodie for $35. Message me on Instagram or email me and I'll collect all the orders, people that are interested, and then we'll we'll do a bulk order at the end of February. So there's a cutoff at the end of February, then uh, we'll cut it off and we'll prove We'll produce all the orders that we got from there and then ship them out a few weeks after that. So it may take a little bit of a, of a bit. It may, take, it, may take a, it may take a bit. It may take a little while for us to get these orders to you, but this is gonna be a pre-order for the end of the month. If you're interested, uh, let us know. $20 for a shirt, 
what I say, $20.35 for a hoodie, and then uh, they'll be shipping, obviously. If you are local, we'd be happy to deliver it to you or meet you at a track, or uh, if you're in the United States or Canada, then we can ship it. I'm not exactly sure what shipping will be overseas. I've never done this before, but hit me up if you're interested, and before any everything is final, I'll figure that out and figure out how much shipping will be and see if it works or not. Okay, cool, thanks guys. We return you now to your regularly scheduled program. All right, guys, real quick, I want to give a shout-out to Ryder Masson. He just won the 85 junior class, which is hard to do. That's pretty impressive, so great job, man. Do you want to plug your channel? Yeah, my channel is Dirt Bike Boy 667. Dirt Bike Boy 667. He's got two subscribers right now, right? I'm going to subscribe, so that's three, and then let's see if we can get him a few more, all right? Cool, buddy. So we got Mason over here burning some laps on the arena cross track, which is good. I'm happy to just see him like get more comfortable with the bike. And I think he's doing pretty good on the Pliny. But you know what, guys? I think the Pliny, I think it's only going to get him so far. The biggest thing I noticed when we were doing practice at the arena cross the other day is that the suspension is super stiff in the front. It's fine in the back. The suspension in the back is really fine, but, but it's just too stiff in the front and every time he lands he has a hard time standing up he just it makes him want to sit down i didn't notice that before on the motocross track but when we got to the arena cross track when there was more jump i definitely noticed that especially when i looked at footage in slow motion and the forks don't have any clickers there's no adjustments you can't make the suspension softer it just, it is what it is. So after the last time practicing at Arena Cross, it was just apparent to me that the bleeding was good for him. It helped him progress, but it's only gonna get him so far. Last moto of the day, guys. Mason got 14th last time. He crashed three times and got 14th. I told him this time, just do whatever you can to keep it on two wheels. Try to just not crash the whole time. Partly because I want him to do good and also because I don't want to have to try to kick the thing over when it dies. on the start guys hope everybody's okay luckily Mason got away clean looks like he's probably like top five right now first second third four fifth and six consistent I never know how they're gonna do front of the pack back of the pack you never know
The track's getting ready, guys. Mason struggles with this turn. I'm going to be here in case he needs me. He found a clean line outside. I said, do not crash the whole three laps. He might just be listening to me on this one. I know it's rutted, end of the day, they put the 50 beginner class at the end of the day so they could deal with all the rut for some reason. We've got 833 right behind him. Let's see if we can hold him off. Half the lap to go. for him to come in view. There it is, big sin on the finish line, nice. Mason, come here. Put the goldfish down for a second and come here. And why are there goldfish carcasses all over the ground, Mason? If that a PETA representative was here, they would not be very happy. Come here. Okay, Mason, it was not you? Yeah. You tried to save the goldfish? No, I But you're only one man, you can only do so tire. much. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that tire became a, a, a basketball hoop. As the kids were trying to aim goldfish in there. Anyways, Mason, look, I just wanted to say that I'm proud of you, you did awesome. Your second moto was really good. You didn't fall once, but you were charging. You were taking good lines on the outside. And good job not running over that guy on the start. That was pretty good too. Yeah. Cool, good job, buddy, love you. All right guys, so Mason doesn't know it right now, but that was his very last ride on the planey.